Hello, my name is Shannon Kringen and you're watching Goddess Kring and I want to do a little monologue about an experience that I just had. Um, I just went to a beauty contest and I was one of the contestants in the beauty contest. There's my kitty, Kisun. Hey, puppy. There's my kitty. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I was just in... Uh, Miss Alternative Seattle 2015 and which you know is is sweet that the guy who um, organizes it invited me to be part of it and I'm really happy that he did and here's what I look like I'm like this is part of one of my costumes uh, <laughs> but um, yeah let's just say that I'm proud of myself that I'm not beating myself up right now because Let's just say that I felt kind of really uncomfortable and I didn't really enjoy it. And I mean, the people were nice, but I really don't like burlesque. And I, the women, the women are beautiful. Like there was me and a bunch of other beautiful women. We were all different, all unique, dressed up with really interesting, different makeup and different kinds of costumes and, you know, very sexy costumes and like burlesque and like, lingerie and like alternative you know unusual makeup and lots of you know experimental type things and on that level I loved seeing that but the reality is part of me I feel conflicted like I'm sort of an introverted extrovert but I'm not really sure if somebody that I'm very close to that I love a lot he thinks that uh me saying I'm an introverted extrovert means that I'm that I actually am more of an extrovert and and yet I'm wounded to the point where I'm afraid to fully be my real self now that might be the case but I think I'm actually an introvert who likes to perform in some situations like I know that Tori Amos for instance has said she's an introvert and people think she's joking but she says well actually I don't enjoy Mardi Gras or parties but she likes being on stage and doing Tori Amos like she writes songs and sings them in front of people and so like she's comfortable like she writes from an internal world type of a place and channels it and then shares it in a, in, and projects it and I almost feel like Goddess Krang is like Superman and Shannon Kringen is Clark Kent and tonight I guess I was Shannon Kringen actually and you know what he did he said Shannon Kringen and, and I should have had him say Goddess Kring I got on stage and I just was horrible like I'm not saying this to put myself down I wasn't comfortable like I wasn't I didn't want to like tease the audience and be all sexy and flirty which is funny because I've done a lot of performance and I'm real comfortable in the world naked bike ride and the body pride ride and the summer solstice parade and I've been naked in front of well of course we weren't nude the thing is I'd be more comfortable if I was nude and what was interesting is that I met a photographer that I worked with a long time ago and he's a, a Goddess Crank fan and he likes my he liked my show I had a public access show on for 15 years from 1996 to 2011 called Goddess Crane where I danced around nude well and so tonight at the Miss Alternative Seattle I met that person and then I met this other person that used to watch my show and then somebody else said Goddess Crane and then I met um, somebody that draws me I'm a figure model uh, at some local art schools around Seattle and this guy recognizes me as somebody he drew and then I met a makeup a body painter a lady who does body painting who has a hard time finding people that want to be nude and body painted by her so I might work with her so basically I made some good connections but in terms of being on stage like we had two or three different outfits that we were supposed to strut around on stage in, and I just I didn't like strutting around in high heels and being really sexy and a certain kind of tease the audience I mean we could do whatever we wanted but most of the women did this certain style that you know don't get me wrong these women are beautiful like they're all every single one of them was very beautiful in their own unique way it's just I just don't like the style of I don't know so I wasn't enjoying it and so I'm trying to figure out <laughs> I'm somebody who gets confused about 
Who is the real Shannon? Who is Goddess Kring? Who is Shannon Kring? And what does she want? Why is she doing this? And I feel like I'd partly do it just to prove that I have the guts to do it. But then I'm thinking, I didn't really enjoy myself. One thing, the bar was really loud. Everybody was talking really loud and drinking. I don't really like to drink alcohol, so I didn't. I just drank water and I ate nuts because I'm a health food nut. So, <laughs> and I rode my bicycle down there for exercise. And so I'm proud of myself for being for I'm not beating myself up because a lot of times when I do these kind of things and then I don't like it, I beat myself up and think I should. But now I realize that I still I'm not sure if I didn't like the experience because I'm wounded and I actually wanted to strut my stuff or did I just not like this like loud bar environment like I don't like it when people are talking really loud and yelling and drinking and getting drunk I mean these people were having fun and you know nothing wrong with that I just think I didn't it wasn't really my scene and my forte seems to be doing things like this, like videotaping myself. Or also there was all these photographers around, like good photographers with really good professional camera gear. And all the models were posing for them. doing this stuff. And I just didn't feel comfortable. So I just sort of retreated into myself. And I took some selfies with a couple of the other models and with a couple of the... Um, this one guy that used to watch my show, I took some pictures of me with other people, like, you know, selfies of just our faces, and that was nice, but I just didn't really, f I didn't really have that much fun, and I'm just, I'm documenting this on video, it is now September of 2015, I'm 46 years old, I'm in Seattle, my name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring, I'm a multimedia artist and photographer, and experimental improvisational person, and I am grateful that I was invited to participate in this beauty contest, but I I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. And I'm not, and I and I don't want to like sound like negative, like I'm putting it down or saying anything. And I'm also not putting myself down. I'm just trying to figure out: Did I not enjoy it because I'm wounded and I don't let myself fully be and shine my light? which is sad. If that's the case, that's a sad thing. Or um, or was it just not, I'm, I'm thinking it's a little bit of both. I think it was partly because I'm wounded and I'm afraid to fully be who I am because I think other people are, I just feel uncomfortable for many reasons. Or is th was this just not something that I, because I'm real comfortable in the World Naked Bike Ride, I'm real comfortable, I'm actually more comfortable being nude or fully body painted and more natural, kind of hippie-ish kind of a thing than I am uh, with burlesque and like lots of really spiky heels and like heavy makeup that's sort of gothic and like on a certain like steampunk and all that like that stuff is actually cool the whole steampunk thing and I like people I, I appreciated the diversity of all the different models and the different women and they were all beautiful in their own way I want to just emphasize that it's just that I personally didn't I don't resonate with this sort of um, when women kind of have this like like attitude like I, I agree with it on the sort of punk rock let's rebel and break all the rules and let's not be a, a Barbie doll kind of a woman and pretty in a Barbie doll vanilla kind of way but then there's part of me that just doesn't really like this whole like attitude of the burlesque you know like teasing like teasing people and acting naughty like like sex is a sin I, that kind of stuff doesn't turn me on so I find it annoying when people do this kind of sex is a sin burlesque um, I don't know this this style just kind of irritates me I guess it just ir like I don't really I appreciate what Betty Page did but I don't really like that style I like Marilyn Monroe but the Betty Page thing and the burlesque thing, I don't really care for it. But I don't want to put other women down, so I'm really sorry if that offends any women that's listening. I'm just trying to tell my opinion. Like, I imagine some women, hippies, drive them nuts. Like, women who are really into burlesque and steampunk and punk rock and maybe things like that, maybe they're annoyed by people like me who are into peace and love and, like, 
hugging trees and being more like earthy, spiritual, mystical. You know, the face paint I do is kind of inspired by tribal energy and um, spiritual tribal uh, worship the earth. But I'm not a pagan. See, I don't really fit into this whole pagan thing either. So what is it that I'm doing? I don't know. I'm just making it up. So I'm just trying to figure out why I didn't enjoy myself tonight. But I'm really glad I was invited. Again, my name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. And I was invited tonight to the second annual Miss uh, Alternative Seattle Beauty Contest. And I didn't really enjoy it. And yet I'm glad I went because I'm trying to figure out who I really am. And I feel like, and again, I did. I met a body painter and a photographer and this other nice person that's, uh, I think he's a musician and he's a fan of my TV show, Goddess Kring. And there's a movie coming out called Channeling Yourself that I told him about. It's a documentary that I'm in. So I had a good time tonight in terms of that and learning some things. But it was so loud. I put like cotton in my ears, but it was so loud in there. And I didn't like the sort of heavy metal punk rock music that was happening nearby. And it was just sort of obnoxious and loud and um and I mean no disrespect to anybody who was there if anybody's listening to this and they were there and they're offended by what I'm saying I'm sorry but I'm just sharing my honest opinion and um I am happy that I was involved but I feel like I wish I was more clear on am I just wounded or was it just not my scene I probably would have had a little more fun if I wasn't wounded and socially awkward I'm really afraid of other women. Like I feel like the women were all nice to me. Nobody was rude to me in any way. Women were nice to me. I just feel really scared around women. Like I don't like feeling competitive. I don't like beauty contests. I guess it rubs me the wrong way. The whole idea of a beauty contest, even though it was playful and fun and nobody was being mean or catty or whatever. I don't really like contests like that. And even in high school, I was on the tennis team and I was very competitive and I was better at solo tennis than doubles. And whenever I would win a tennis match, I would feel like, yeah, I won. But then I would feel guilty and sorry for the other person that lost to me. So I feel like the whole beauty contest thing, like if I had won, I didn't even come close because I didn't do a very good job. I didn't really strut on stage and act like goddess Kring, but I uh, like goddess Kring, like, like, woo, you know, woo. <laughs> I didn't do that, but I um, I was kind of shy about the whole thing. My body language was kind of, I don't know what, but I wasn't really flaunting my beauty. But um, I just felt, um, I was just very awkward. I felt very awkward, and I felt, um, I don't know. I'm glad I did it, but it wasn't really that much fun for me. It was too loud. I'm just trying to learn. So I'm doing this video just to document reality and I hope that it inspires you in some way or that you learn something new by listening to my observations. I'm trying to figure out, I want to learn. See, I want to heal, grow, and learn. And this is part of that, is me doing these videos to just say what I feel. And um, so shannonkringa.com is my website. Just Google Goddess Kring or Shannon Kringen and see a bunch of my art, my photos, my blogs, uh, music, spoken word, paintings, photography, etc. I do lots of different things. So thanks you for listening. And uh, yeah, I just had to document this. Thank you.